What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. It's a free general collective reading for all signs. Caps are beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're 14,000, guys! 14K! Thanks for all the love and support. What? 14 million and beyond. Just saying, just saying. Um, I love you guys, and I truly appreciate it. Just saying. Um, if you think anyone else would like the channel, please feel free to share it on uh, social media, word of mouth. It helps a single mom and two kids with one of her income streams. Um, I appreciate it. And I have another channel called Hashtag Leo Gang, capital L-E-O-G-A-N-G, exclamation point, if anybody's interested. Um, it's for um, Leos, um, anybody aspected in Leo in your chart or cross watchers. Um, I've had it, I've been manifesting it for about a month. I had about 50 subscribers on there previously because before it was hashtag glow up. I just put my separate series on there. It had about 50 subscribers, but it remained stagnant for a while because I didn't manifest it. But since I started doing hashtag Leo gang on there for about a month, it's got about 300, it's got about 315 subscribers right now. So Thanks so much, you guys. I love it. I appreciate it. Okay, so I received a channeling in. <clears throat> I received a couple, so I'm going to do this one in the other video to get the channelings out. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. Let me get comfy in my nice, big, comfy chair. And y'all know I love this thing, but man, when I did that All Signs reading yesterday, three-hour long reading, which I'm glad I did because um, we were due for All Signs read, but um, Y'all know I don't usually do it all in one lump. That um, that way y'all can access it easier. But I just ended up doing it that way yesterday. But anyways, um, I forgot where I was going with that. But anyways, um, I forgot where I was going with that. But I'm glad I did it because um, everybody got a little bit of their signs. The, the, the True Divine Femme time stamped it. And yes, the time stamps are wrong, but I gave her the wrong number. So... I'll have to go back and do that reading again and get the real times and fix it. It's not her fault. It is my fault. I just want to let everybody know that. Okay. I do apologize about that. Um, I do, but I will fix it. I just haven't done it yet. Okay. But it, I do take responsibility for that and I apologize about that. Okay. All right. So the channel message I received was, um, through many series of chain events, one of you guys is going to file a protection order against your ex. Um, I heard they're very abusive. One, um, one, you're about to do it soon. One, through many series of chain events, you're about to learn some very important information of the past and it's going to cause you to file the protection order. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's at least two of you guys then. It's at least two. Um, one, you're about to do it soon. One, through many series of chain events, you're about to learn uh, important information. Um, about something, a very serious situation in the past, and it's going to catalyst, catapult you, and and it sounds like you're going to be the catalyst and create the mini series of chain of events to file the protection order. Now, only you know your story, not anybody else. Only you know if you fit in category one or two um, with that. Um, but it sounds like obviously there's a reason or reasons that's about to drive you to file this protection order against your ex. Now, I feel that could be an ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance, or baby mama, baby daddy. Um, a lot of ex energy in here recently, so you plug it in how it resonates. But something is about to drive you to do it. Um, whether you already have information or maybe they've abused, I feel for some they might have abused you, like physically abused you. <coughs> Excuse me. Or verbally abused you, or or threw something at you, or or entrapped you, or we still had a hidden camera energy in here. I mean, however that resonates. But one, you're about to learn important information soon. That's about to um, from someone you would have never expected from someone you would have never expected, I heard. So the important information you're about to learn is uh, from someone you would have never expected, but it's about to catapult you to um, 
create the series of chain of events, it sounds like, if this resonates for you, to file the protection order. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, whoever this is for, and how this applies, okay? Okay. I hope y'all can hear me okay. Okay. We'll do some tea leaves. See if we get any other messages, okay? I just um I just channeled that song. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, you know Michael Jackson. I think that's Michael Jackson. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh. oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I feel for some, your exes can be very, could be very obsessive or stalkery or that's what I feel. Obsessive, stalkery, like they haven't done their healing, growth and shadow work and they haven't moved on. That's what I feel for some of you guys. Um, and I'm serious. Spirit messages you have to look like this. By the way, I got this dress at uh, Walmart for anybody who doesn't know. Um, I've been getting private emails asking me because uh, I did the gist at 96 today. I got it from Walmart. Just to let everybody know. Spirit messages you have for a collective. But it's been it's been a it's been a while. It's been years. It, it's not a new buy. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Yeah, oh my goodness. You can't make this up even if you wanted to. Control your anger or you'd be sorry. Yeah, I think you're very upset at this person or you're about to. Because one, I think they have put hand, physically put hands on you. Um, and I don't feel this was like an accidental scraping on the leg or accidental scraping on the arm from an object, like an accident. I feel like truly meant to, boom, knock your lights out physically or choke you like and not fun kinky bedroom play or um try to intimidate you with like physical altercation not fun wwe kind of way if that makes sense or they were trying to um um mentally put you down in some shape form or fashion i think um you're i think you're angry about it <clears throat> but Whoever this is for, um, I think the spiritual, well, the tea leave in here, not the spiritual download, but the tea leave, is kind of, um, I'm feeling, it says control your anger, you'll be sorry. So I'm feeling transmuting the energy in a positive way with a protection order to keep yourself safe and so you don't get the police called on you. So transmuting the energy in a positive way, yes, you're angry about this, but you can transmute it in positive ways and get the protection order on this person or people. I heard X, for some it could be two or two plus X's, um, but I feel they might have mental imbalances um, with like stalking, obsession, um, um, cannot let you go energy. Um, and I, I think they manifest it in the 3D as like negative coping me mechanism skills, like the stalking, the lurking, the creeping, the Etc. 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 Spirit messages you have reflective, or physical abuse or mental abuse. Spirit messages you have reflective. You okay, fat boy? Chair empty, someone is leaving your life. Yeah, protection. Oh my God. I heard stop. Stop. You can't um you can't make this up even if you wanted to. Someone is leaving your life. So protection order on your ex. Um, whoever you are, I feel it could be masculine ex. 
So it can be an ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-fiance, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, or, or baby mama or baby daddy S type energy. You plug it in how it resonates. So if you're very angry at them, control your anger or you'll be sorry. And I think you are about to transmute it in a positive way. And I didn't hear this. This is just my intuitive logic reasoning and take on this. And you're about to put the protection order on them through the police. Do it the right way. Not get pissed at them. Let them get your goat. Get, get your goad. Um, get you riled up where you'll strike back and they can call the police on you. Instead, you're going to calmly or hopefully calmly call the police and get the protection order on them so they cannot harass you, harm you, stalk you, lurk you, um, physically or verbally abuse you. Someone leaving your life, I feel is the protection order. And I'm serious. I, I'm, I'm, it's all in the messages in the cards. I think you're very uh, angry at this person, very upset at this person, but I also feel you need to do this in a very um, positive way. But I think the positive way here is the protection order. With the chair empty, someone is leaving your life. I'm serious. I am so serious. But this is good. I mean, this is confirmation with messages and cards all day long. Um, let's see. Um, I feel guided to get a kipper and then I'll close it. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Oh my Lord. I heard take it. Imprisonment. Jail energy here. Um, this can be mental institutionalism, jail, or um, mental entrapment um, in your head, or it can be prison. In this aspect, I think it's jail. Um, let's see. Number 29 can be very significant number in one's life. Number 29, imprisonment. Some of these people are under heavy investigation and they will wind up in jail. You're about to learn information on this and you will file the protection order on them. For some, you're about to file the protection order on them and they will end up in jail. Okay, there you go. Okay, so for some, um, for some, they will bond out. For some, they will not. For some, they will bond out. For some, they will not. Okay, so... For some, they're under heavy investigation now. It sounds like currently in the heavy, uh, in the energetic space. So they are under investigation now, your ex um, or exes. Um, and through many series of chain of events, they're going to end up in jail. For some of your exes, if that situation applies for you, they will end up, they will be able to bond out, bail out. For some, they will not. So physical jail energy here. For some, <clears throat> you are going to create the series of chain of events. Call the police, file the police report, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is what I'm feeling um, over an incident that's already happened or is about to happen. <clears throat> and it's going to um, land them in jail. And then you're going to file the um, protection order is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Physical jail here. For some, they're going to end up in jail through some kind of investigation for some, you're going to create series of chain events by calling, I feel in calling, following call police report to land them in jail. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but they're definitely going to leave your life. Um, and you are upset at them. But I feel you are about to transmute this in a positive way. Just because you're angry and upset at them doesn't mean you're going to go out and hurt and harm them. And I hope you're not going to because that lands you in jail. So just saying. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.